通りすがりの仮面ライダーだ覚えておけ Hello everyone, today is a、uh, quick look on the、uh, Kamen Rider Scan Heroes Project BM Volume 1.、Uh, well, Kamen Rider, Mass Rider, whatever, it's kind of like a decade on here. And I bought this from an eBay seller.、Uh, it was paid for on the、uh, 14th, dispatched on the 17th, Friday of December, and then arrived to me on the 6th with SAL postage.、Um, if you see my Earlier videos of similar products,、uh, you know that I'm gonna chop the head off and make little Lego figure heads out of them. But for now,、uh, I'll take a quick look of what's inside and let you guys see it、um, before I destroy this completely.、Um, so here's the box, and inside you have eight figures. Um, one of them is a、uh, special hidden figure that you don't see on the side, so you don't know what it is. Anyway, that's a fun, quite nice、uh, picture of、um, the、uh, Project BM figure, I imagine.、Uh, the front. This says there is eight kinds.、Um, come out of Volume 1. But, <laughs> these things are really confusing, they all have different names, even though they're pretty much similar statue things. Digital grade, scan hero,、uh, yada yada yada. So,、um, on the sides,、um, there's obviously a display box that you can cut open. If you're buying a full set, chances are the seller will be putting the, the actual box with the other little eight boxes inside it. So, I'll always be careful、um, when you bid or buy on any other website.、Um, so, one side you get to see that there's Kabuto, Dark Kabuto. Kuga and Decade, and for some reason there's also like an outline behind them that looks like it's a CGI kind of picture.、Um, zoom in there. You see that? See, this is like a picture of the item and also a picture of it in digital form because it's Scanning the Project BM, I guess.、Uh, that's the whole idea. Again, on the other side, but you see the other figures.、Uh, Hibiki. Hibiki, Ed, Fink, and Kuga again, and the other Kuga with a special with the leg piece when he does the butter kick. The,、uh, the, uh, the last hidden figure is actually another form of Kuga, but you see that in a moment. So here's the back. So、that guy looks a bit more. And yes, it's called Scan Hero because it's Project BM. They you know, scan it in the 3D model and then make it into these little statue things.、Uh, of course,、uh, new action hero detailing and all that.、Uh, it's always in Japanese, so I can't read that. If you, you, know, you can read that, then be my guest. I think it's off focus. There we go. So, yeah, if you want to pause the video and read that, you reach out, please, and yay for you. Anyway, so let's pop this sucker open. So, yeah, one box is a total of eight.、Uh, obviously, these boxes are usually random, but if you buy a full set of the seller, they've Well, I probably opened it and sorted out what you get inside. So here's a box that's. Well, let's look at the box first.、Uh, the front is just like the big box's front.、Uh, on one side, you see the figures that you get in the set, and the other side, the same. The bottom, safety information and barcode and all that. On the back. This box when you open this first flap.、Uh, the seller's done a good job in opening it, hasn't actually damaged the box so well. And I've never seen this before, actual like a box kind of flap. And this is a big box for, well, smaller bag thing. 
Well, as you can see, it's got one of those clear plastic stands again. If you see my other videos, you see that's like the same deal sort of thing. So here's Cabot Hill. And then uh, what's what's in this box? Oh, right, here's a red heebie key. You see the weapons and no cardboard to protect it, I guess. Uh, Okay, purple, normal, heebie key, again, with his weapons. Um, the moulding is pretty much the same, I imagine. Which uh, makes it cheaper for them to make these things, just apply a different colour, same moulding. That is... His cougar and his belt piece and face is also been ripped off for some reason. Uh, Need some of them. Uh, uh, here we go. Here's Deke with his sword. Awesome. Again, the sword is protected. And then Third cougar, but this one is uh, for decade belt, and if you notice, it comes with the uh, Rider Booker, which is a separate piece, which would be useful for uh, well, modding and so on. So I'm going to cover these up and assemble them, and then uh, I'll be back in a sec. So let's start with uh, Hibiki. Well, there he is. Um, focus, 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 focus. Just please focus. There's his torso. Um, everything's quite tight. The uh, mask is also it's okay. It's not the best. Um, stick his hands in. Okay, that's a nice fit. So his weapons all stick in on the end like pegs into his hands, and they just fit. I don't need the tip of it. So either you be really really careful or put a bit of glue to make sure it doesn't fall off and these doesn't come with any spares, not like spare antennas or anything so you know uh, watch it and I'm pretty sure that you know TB Key's suit doesn't have a weathered effect because there's quite a lot of random bits of blobs here and there and little bits of black uh, the little gold thing he has is not painted too well, there's a bit of black on that a bit of black on his arm so I'm not happy with the paint job of this thing. Uh, at a distance, it looks great, but until as soon as, but as soon as you pay more attention to it, or you know, look at it for more than one second, you think, well, wait a minute. Uh, for comparison's sake, here's this. Uh, that's a good one. Um, here's a. Well, here's a Deno pose, which. I think they're the same. This is slightly bigger, but it's not as big as the uh, Ultimate Solids, which you would believe it would be. So, again, these are a bit smaller than the Ultimate Solids, so that's that. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, Rare TB key. Here's the uh, Rare TB key. Let me show this. Let me focus. Again, he's got bits of 
black on him. Uh, like the red coating was just not that finished. Uh, painting on him slightly better than purple. Uh, completely same mold. Same, just different colouring. And again, completely the same uh, weapons. Could, couldn't they give him different coloured weapons? That's just another lazy step. It's, uh, I feel really disappointed with these things because uh, they look great on the picture and the uh, emotional artwork. Which, well, yeah, they're supposed to, you know, they're advertising the thing, um, but they just, you know, get yourself some shiny paint for him and a little brush and just dip on the little black spots, and you'll be much happier. Uh, well, even though the painting is not good, the molding is fine. Even in the little belt buckle, you can you feel it, you can feel the imprints of the moulding and little discs, uh, all the lines are moulded on these little discs, and it's animal discs so so the moulding's good, they just couldn't be bothered painting it right I guess well, so let's move on to the next rider, let's move on to Kabuto ok so here's Kabuto, uh, well, the uh, paint job is much better than the Hibiki paint job uh, and everything's painted there, the bed is good, except for the helmet. The front piece is a clear plastic, so when they paint on it, the rest of the, of the paint look feels the edge of the paint feels a bit transparent as well. Um, that's all the other compound things underneath, it's all good. Um, except there's a little bit of black and like battle damage, if you want to call it that, on the back of the uh, helmet. That's annoying. But uh, all of his suit patterns are all molded in, so that's okay. The little details in the uh, pistol. Uh, sector all there as well. Um, here's Dark Kabuto, um, as mentioned, there's another space. So you can feel the compound plastic underneath it and stick his face on. But that's just bloody annoying. His mask feels like it might. It... You can see the. This is uh, supposed to be the gap. Um, it's not so silver. It's a bit squidgy, like the plastic doesn't fit on properly. <sighs> Again, the details there, and thank god they did a good paint job on his little sort of circuit uh, pattern on his chest and back. Uh, one thing to notice is that both of them, their left foot unpegs around here and it's really loose. And for some bizarre reason, the stand is freaking tight. It's so tight, it, which is why I noticed the loose foot. Because as soon as I'm trying to push the leg, and the foot pops off. So, again, lots of issues with this figure as well as the Hibiki. So, <laughs> hardly fitting stand. Mass feels is going to pop off. And uh, look, he's falling off already. Okay, so let's move on to Fuga, but just before I mention that, I've got to mention that both Kabuto and the Hippie ones have nothing at the bottom of their shoe, it's just flat. And while putting the mask back on Dark Kabuto, his face back on, his foot then popped up again on the stand. Anyway, let's move on to Kuga, um, my all time favourite series, Kamurada. And then it's Double Black Decade. Anyway, uh, all Kugas are the complete. Well, I say complete, uh, are the same mold except for this one has a little golden bit on his leg. That's his mighty form, I forgot the name of it. And the decade one has a little peg hole on his belt. Well, let's look at him last. Um, now, Kuga, he's got nothing underneath his, his legs, are very minimum. So, you know, it's just black plastic, you can't get it wrong there. But as soon as you look at any other part, this black on his chest is just, you know, it's just red. How hard does it just go red? Why is there black on it? Um, the uh, little pattern on his uh, little plate on his hands are there, so that's good. Um, the, and it's this bit of bloody glue on the back of his head. My god. Uh, 
But at least the, uh, his face doesn't fall off like that Kabuto, which uh, is actually starting to slip off, I think. Maybe. The uh, second Kuga without the uh, mighty thing on his leg. Uh, there's a bit of black on this torso here. Missing paint. There's a lot of missing paint on the back. Um, otherwise, it's not too bad. The painting's correct. It's just annoying that this bit's missing. Uh, the, but the molding again, the molding is fine. There's also detail on the uh, belt and helmet. It's just. Uh, and then you have the uh, Decade Cougar, which I haven't put his face on yet. So, look, he's got a bit of red there, like someone cut his face. And that's sticking his mask on. Um, because you're pegging the arm. And then, with him, he comes with the uh, Decade Belt, like I said. So, let's stick the. Find the right way up. Stick the. Belt. Come on. So the front of the belt sticks in nice and tight. And the rider poker pegs in on the side. Right, so first of all you notice that they haven't bothered to paint the rider poker's rider poker's just paint. And the peg hole where the rider poker pegs in was filled with paint, so you know, push it in and break the seal of the paint. So you can tell someone probably just went near near. To paint it. Uh, again, this the shoulder pads and little black bits on it. It's just such a shoddy paintwork. I would have been happy if the paintwork was fine because the molding is really nice. All the details there. It's just and the compound eyes are all there except just Come really in, horrible paintwork. Um, with Kuga at the bottom of his feet, do have the uh, shoe patterns that Teke has as well, which you see. That's the uh, last one. So here's Decade, which can actually stand without the stand. Quite sturdy as well, uh, without the stand. But uh, I'll stick the stand on anyway for purposes of this video. Uh, uh, decade is the best painted one. I. I the, the pink is on the magenta or pink. The pink is all there, uh, there's nothing missing. Uh, the white's all there, uh, there's a bit of sort of little bits of pink on the black area, just on where the line is. Quite simple as a for molding, but it's all there. Everything's there. Uh, his belt looks detailed. Uh, bottom of shoe, a little shoe pattern. Uh, and here's the uh, other booker. Again, this one's painted. So, what gives? So, there you go, you probably guess what I'm going to say, what I would recommend this. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not expensive to get these, um, much like the other ones. Um, well, this one was like £38, so, no, no, you know what, no, it's bloody expensive. Um,
Ultimate swords are, are bigger. You know, the detail on all the swords are there. Better paint work with all the figures except Decay because he seems to be uh, favoured here. So, yeah, Ultimate Solos are cheaper, bigger, uh, more accessories, especially on well, this guy, he came with all his different coloured hands. Uh, they just look better, they feel more solid, they don't fall off, come with spare antenna, antennae. And Project VM Scan Heroes is just crap. Uh, I don't know if the uh, later releases are any better. But for Volume 1, it's a bad, bad start. The box looks good and all the art on the box looks good, so... They clearly spend more time painting the ones on the box just to make them sell and then not bother to paint the uh, actual figures too well. So, so if you have to get kind of like a decade in some little statue form, then yeah, he's fine. But if you want to get the other ones, uh, I try and get them in from different boxes because I'm sure Kuga and Hibiki and Kabuto have been released in other forms similar to this and you know some sort of statue form. Uh, Red Hibiki or Dark Kabuto, I'm not so sure, but you know Kuga definitely has. So you know, go for those. Um, I, I bought this box because I really like Kuga and I really like Decade, uh, and because you know there's three Kuga heads here, which I can make three different Kugas in, into Lego. But apart from that. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be too uh, bothered with these. Uh, quite easily throw the bodies away with these ones. So yeah, pick up kind of the statues. Uh, pick up scan heroes. Um, then no action poses are tiny, but you know at least all the details there. I just feel uh, feel missing paint like feels different silver lines which can be easily added on but you know these are cheap but these don't have any skills they're ex quite expensive and it's not just the seller on eBay it makes it expensive they're expensive everywhere so that means the price for them to start off with couldn't have been uh, too small there's no recommended price on the box so yeah uh, I don't recommend scan heroes one don't get it uh, but I will take some pictures and post them on the Facebook page and so uh, go there, subscribe, have a look uh, in closer detail and high resolution. So uh, subscribe, look at my website, yada yada yada, hope you guys have a nice day and take care. That's what Cougar does, yeah. So here we are and here's the uh, heads cut off and drilled and put onto Lego. You can see here they uh, they uh, they fit really nicely. Um, the uh, the sectors take a little bit to get off and uh, cut off the peg underneath them. Um, they are pretty much a separate piece that has been glued down to the body, so oh, they came off okay. Um, see right there, and they're quite small. Um, I'll show you that um, how I let uh, figure out my old one. Um, Ah, uh, the Lego thing is not really hard to turn um, the Well, anyway, see how the heads uh, heads uh, fit quite nicely. Uh, there's Kabuto, and there's Dark Kabuto. Uh, just a comparison for the uh, previous uh, Kamen Rider figure. Um, his guitar. See, the head is bigger, but not too much bigger, I guess. And uh, so, yeah, there's the uh, Kabuto ones. And uh, next is. Uh, Here's uh, BBK. Again, perfect flat and flame form. And uh, the accessories. Again, the uh, the disc. I put a separate piece down 
uh, glue down as well. See that little peg there, which uh, I cut that off from this other piece. This little uh, transformation thingy, which uh, you can hold. Um, if you link to the pictures later. Uh, and then this video now. Mm -hmm. Oh, thing. Which uh, also can hold, so so that's that. And then after that, there's... Kuga. Oh yeah, yeah, I painted the arms and gave them a little thing on the legs as well. Um, these, these look great, I, I'm quite happy with these. But anyway, just a head on the figure. I haven't cut the other heads off yet, so I have a uh, normal um, mighty form, but that's the rising mighty body, the gold belt, is just a normal belt there. You see I've extended the belt, stick it down to the actual waist of the Lego figure. And then, uh, finally, uh, here's Decay holding his uh, sword. I'm still finding a way for him to hold that somehow, um, but yeah. So that's that, so uh, the sizes of their heads are good for LEGO figures. Uh, I'll make a video soon, some part about uh, LEGO, custom LEGO tutorials, but uh, for now, uh, I'll just show you these. So, uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, check out my uh, website, Facebook, and uh, so on. Bye! Final Kamen Lido! Final Attack Lido!